The Valpolicella region is located in the northwest of the province of Verona and uh, Valpolicella is made like a is like a hand. There are three parallel valleys and then there is the alluvial plain, the Corvina, which is uh, the most important grape variety in Valpolicella, grows very well in the hillside. And when we talk about the production, uh, the Valpolicella wine production is like a pyramid. We have the basic wine, which is the Valpolicella, and then we have the Valpolicella Superiore, so it's a wine with more depth and intensity, and then the top of the pyramid is represented by Amarone. Valpolicella is a fresh and fr fruity style of wine, easy drinkable, and uh, that uh, express the characteristic of the grape variety from which it originates, which is mainly Corvina. Corvina is the most important grape variety, but is not the only one. We have a combination of other native grape variety. Uh, Rondinella is another mandatory grape, and then producer can add uh, other grape variety. But uh, the Corvina is the grape variety that really gives the characteristic to the wine. One of Allegrini wine is the basic Valpolicella and uh, we vinify the wine in stainless steel and then we don't age the wine in oak because we want to keep the characteristic of the grape and we want to accentuate this uh, cherry aroma of Corvina so we don't use any vanilla that comes from the oak. It is a wine that can age uh, three, four, five years but uh, after three years, it loses a little bit the characteristic of the Corvina grapes. The Valpolicella Superiore is uh, another category and is a, is, is a wine that uh, is different from the basic Valpolicella in terms of the intensity that the wine has. We can achieve the Superiore category by using two different methods. One is by managing the vineyard and reducing the yield per hectare and another is by using the ripasso method. And this is a very important issue in Valpolicella because uh, is something that is peculiar only of the Valpolicella. Ripasso means uh, re-fermentation, so the wine is fermented twice the first fermentation takes place uh, at the harvest and the second fermentation takes place in spring. By using this second fermentation, the wine achieves more concentration, more intensity and a longer aging potential. The Valpolicella Superiore is a wine that uh, uh, is halfway between the basic Valpolicella and the Amarone. The top of the pyramid of the production in Valpolicella is represented by Recioto and Amarone.